Hi folks, this is Shelly Delant with Shelly Delant Media. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, we are doing the Book of Proverbs, okay, for uh, a Bible study. And um, we're into chapter 3, and there are 35 uh, verses in chapter 3. So we have uh, just finished covering the first 12 verses, which deals with God's... Um, guidances okay uh, the four conditions that we have to meet for receiving God's guidances okay and so now we're into uh, the second part of the chapter and uh, tonight we're going to be or today or whatever time you're uh, watching this video it's my night time okay so uh, for this video we're going to be uh, uh, looking at verses 13 to 18, okay, of Proverbs chapter 3. And so uh, I'd like to s read these uh, first verses, okay? And so here we go. Uh, verse 13 says, Happy is the man who finds wisdom, and the man who gains understanding. For her proceeds are better than the profits of silver, and her gain than fine gold. She is more precious than rubies, and all the things you may desire cannot compare to her. Length of days is in her right hand, in her left hand riches and honor. Her ways are ways of pleasantness, and all her paths are peace. She is the tree of life to those who take a hold of her, and happy are all who retain her. Okay? So, that being said, uh, verse 13 to, um, or the 13 to 35, I'm sorry, excuse me. Uh, these verses deal with blessings that we are to enjoy if we follow God's path of wisdom, okay? And uh, if we trust and obey God, he will direct our path into the blessings that he has planned for us. The first of these blessings is um, to receive, the first one is to receive true wealth, okay, that comes from uh, living in wisdom, okay. Um, some people may know that the price of everything, some people may know, folks, you know, the price of everything, but the value of nothing, right? You know, a lot of times um, we're thinking what could be right in our eyes may not be right in really what God wants for us, okay? And uh, we're to trust him. We're to trust God. We're to ask for his directions on what we should do with our lives because when we... <laughs> Uh, just go with our own wisdom, we could find ourselves in a whole heap of trouble, right? And, um, you know, uh, sometimes we may think that we are actually getting a really good deal with something, and consequently, uh, sometimes we could end up with shoddy merchandise, or we could end up... Um, like way in over our heads, okay? And, you know, I'm going to give you a, a, an example of this. And, you know, um, it, it says it's a good thing to have the things that money can buy, provided that you don't lose the things that money can't buy. And uh, with this, I'm going to say this, okay? Um, years ago, I used to live in this uh, thousand and 50 square foot townhouse and um, I lived there with my husband and my two children okay and uh, my now ex-husband I'm sorry okay and you know that little townhouse I mean it wasn't the biggest or anything but it was comfortable okay it was comfortable and you know what we used to pay per month, okay, was $450 a month with land tax included, okay? And, you know, um, when you don't know when you, you're going to work, like my husband, he used to be a contractor, okay? And he would go to work and he didn't know if, you know, what his job was, if he had a job one day or if he was going to have it the next day, right? And 
So this little townhouse, it provided us like comfort, okay, because we we weren't living beyond our means or anything like that. But you know, and I will say, the husband, he was happy there, and so were the children. But Shelly wasn't, right? Because Shelly wanted to live in a separate house and have a bigger house, right? Which was, you know, which is a lot more to handle. This is the house, okay, I mean. And I want it, of course, like what I'm sitting here behind, a formal dining room, okay? A dining room that gets used, I'm going to tell you folks, dining rooms are not all they're cracked up to be because you really, you're using it maybe five or six times a year. It's just wasted space, okay? And, you know, the thing that happened here with this house is my mortgage went from $450 a month to over $1,600. So, you know, the freedom that we used to have, <laughs> so much for being wise in your own eyes, right? I no longer had it. We no longer had it as a family. And what we were doing was working, working, working to pay a house, right? To pay for something that really we, we had and we were living in comfort. Yeah, we weren't, we were attached to someone else, but you know, we got this yard, but we got it uh, when it was way past when our children would actually really enjoy it. It's a backyard no one ever is hardly ever in, right? And right now today, because really, okay, of uh, going out and working, I used to go and work a night shift where I work from 10 o'clock at night till 6.30 in the morning. And I worked that shift because I wanted to have time with my children, in the daytime, I always wanted a parent to be there. But, you know, by being away at night, <laughs> well, then that opened the door to scenarios that I never thought ever in my wildest dreams that would ever happen, right? And uh, long story short, it was the breakdown of a marriage, okay? I'm not saying that that was all of it, but it was a part that led to it. And why I'm saying this today is because... This is a part of being wise in our own eyes, thinking that, you know, by going out and achieving or getting things more, like more is not always best, right? Less is more <laughs> sometimes, right? And once we've gone through these things, you know, when we're going through it, it's, it's too late to pull it back, right? Like our happiness, our peace is gone. And that's not true wisdom from God. That's not what God wants to do for us. He wants us to take time, pull in our reins, and wait for him to guide us. And you know, his guidance is really what we need in our lives, right? You know, and he will give us peace and happiness as long as we're abiding by what he wants us to do. We have to learn to walk in the will of God, right? Uh, happiness, pleasantness, and peace aren't the guarantees of products of financial success, right? But they are guaranteed to the person who lives by God's wisdom. Wisdom becomes the tree of life to the believer who takes a hold of her. And this is a foretaste, folks, for us for heaven, right? You know, when we're walking in the will of God here on earth and we're abiding in his will, instead of stepping out in our own wisdom, right, we can have a life of enjoyment. But we and know that we're walking in the path of God, because like I said, we could be thinking what's wise in our eyes, like, <laughs> I could take this lesson from me. Having a bigger house is not all it's cracked up to be. Besides more work, okay, in the house to maintain it, you know, you got to look at the financial side of things, right? You know, the financial side. And also not with only purchasing things. We have to look at folks um, who were allowing sometimes into our homes and lives, okay? Um, if you have someone that wants to, I don't know, I'm the type of person, okay, that uh, I like to help other people. And sometimes I put my uh, 
self in a situation which I have done numerous times where I've tried to help I've uh, and it ended up kicking me back in the gut right and end up causing more and more problems and I'm gonna tell you like <laughs> it's not good uh, Bible tells us to keep to our own business right keep to our own business and you know folks that's what we have to do I'm not saying that we shouldn't help but we have to be very careful what we're allowing in our doors into our family lives and um, really whatever we're doing we need to go to God first and ask Lord is this your will that I should be doing Anyway, this is Shelly Delint with Shelly Delint Media. I hope this video has helped you. If you haven't subscribed to uh, my channel, please do. I have more content coming and we are going to be continuing on here with the book of Proverbs. So uh, yeah, please subscribe to the channel. Um, I look forward, folks, to seeing you in the next video. Take care and God bless and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.